Saturday is aimed at creating a space where men can converse around the issues contributing to gender-based violence and discrimination and find lasting solutions. We are now joined in studio by Philemon Amorolongo, who is one of the organizers and the founder for the Men's Conference, as well as Danielle, who is the Communications and Marketing Manager for Sunlam Namibia. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening. Good evening, Dapiwa. Thank you for having us. All right. Uh, first things first, ladies first. When we speak about accountable men, what exactly are we talking about and why do you think accountability is important? Accountability is, I think, a principle that, 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 that goes across so many levels of, of or spheres mm -hmm. of life. And as much as we sometimes, sometimes think we can do things on our, on our own, or uh, we all have blind spots. And I think w accountability is, is when we allow someone and trust someone to enable us to see our blind spots. And um, someone that, and it's important who, who, who you want to be held accountable towards. And, and, and that trust in building, um, and I think this, this platform creates a space where those relationships can be formed as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, men of accountability is something that is, I think, a crucial aspect of how we are going to solve this problem by keeping each other accountable. All right. Now, Philemon, you are the brainchild behind men's conference. We usually used to hear men conference in a joking way, but this is the first time we're having it in Namibia. Why did you think it was important to come up with this initiative? I think it's very important and vital to come up with uh, such an initiative because we men, or let me say a, a boy child, it seems like it's rejected in our country. Mm. So we only have initiative for women. That's why men are taking action in their own hand because they feel there's no any voice that will stand in them if they find themselves in trouble spots. Mm -hmm. That's why I think this initiative will now like unite men and uh, also to just to bring this um, love to men that they are also considered, recognized, and they are considered as they are in flesh and blood. They can also feel pain, and they, can also, they, they also need to be consoled whenever they are in, that, in such si situation. All right. Now, Danielle, how can men release emotional pain that they carry within themselves? You know, sometimes all that emotion ends up um, turning into crime against women. Um, and I think I would like to add to that that mm -hmm. it is not only gender-based violence is not only men against um, women. women, where men are the perpetrators. It really goes both ways. And um, this specifically is, is positioned at men mm -hmm. because um, the, the boy child is, as he said, heavily neglected. And um, if we don't have partners around us that we can open a conversation and feel comfortable with having a conversation with that anger and that conversation is going to be suppressed and I think one of the aims is around this to normalize these conversations and um, one of our speakers and I keep on referring to her in, 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 in all of the interviews yeah. but I think what just struck me from her um, topic she's going to talk about um, hope for victims and perpetrators and once we create a safe space where individuals feel accepted and loved and that there is hope mm -hmm. and there are avenues they can go to and um, this is why this is going to be such an informative session as well um, with with the right people and professionals there to advise on where men can go to when they actually realize that Maybe I am dealing with, 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 with anger and, 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 and I need help. Okay. And there is help. All right. Now, what are some of the topics, apart from gender-based violence and discrimination, that you'll be touching on at the conference? Actually, we are going to touch on uh, different topics mm -hmm. because it's not only about uh, GBV. Men need to be encouraged and lectured in different fields of life. Yeah. You know, women, we are the head of the family and uh, our children and let me say the family depends on men, it not only financially, but uh, in terms of wisdom. Mm -hmm. So we need to be now equipped with that, not only to be financially stable, but you also need to have wisdom so that you're able to um, 
to raise your family in a good manner. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are going to touch on topics such as why is it important as a man to speak up mm -hmm. when you have a problem? Especially, for example, if I may just, um, let me say a man is being troubled in his house by his wife. So I even if he went to the, he goes to the family to explain that, no, I'm, express I'm uh, experiencing this and this. The family will just laugh mate at him. Mm -hmm. They will not even rush and say, oh, our brother is in trouble. The wife is doing this and this. He is in an abusive marriage. No, but if it's a woman, oh, we'll go and get our daughter. Yeah. Why can we not do that to, to men? True. So if they speak up, we must consider them that they are crying. They mm -hmm. also have eyes, and the what they are coming, what is coming out from their eyes is tears, same mm -hmm. as women. Yeah. But if you are not recognizing those tears, mm -hmm. it will turn into bloodshed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we need to be very, very careful on that. So that's why we say we have that topic. Why do uh, why is it important for a man to speak up? And we have a topic whereby we we gave it to the law enforcement, the police officer. So we gave them a topic in a form of a question that do the law enforcement, or let me say police officer, really sympathize with men? Mm. When they rush to them looking for help, do they take it serious? Or they just say, you are a man, be careful, be patient, it will be okay, you know? Mm. But they also need attention and love. All right. Uh, Danielle, shortly, you are the communications and marketing manager of Sunlam. Why did Sunlam decide to come on board for the men's conference? I think that one is, is quite a no-brainer when, when we look at what is happening in our country and it's, it's, it's getting worse and the, the surroundings of the environment and the climate is of such a nature that it has the potential to um, just grow and grow and grow and multiply if we don't stop this mm -hmm. um, and, and, and bring these conversations into the light so it can be brought to brought to the light and be addressed. Um, it was so beautiful what Munene said now about these tears. If we don't recognize the tears, the tears turn into anger and bitterness inside and frustration. It is, it is, it is, it is a frustration that is building up um, and with the whole economic environment, it's, it's not helping the situation at, at, at all. Mm -hmm. So I think with this, Sanlam, um, we stand for living with confidence. Right. And no one can live with confidence mm -hmm. if, if you are a perpetrator because you live with a lot of shame and guilt and, um, or a victim mm -hmm. because your, your whole identity is being attacked. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of the core. If, yeah. if, if, if your identity is, is being attacked, then your confidence erodes okay and you are unable to live with confidence all right now I understand the conference is taking place this saturday where is it taking place and what time will it be starting is it free entrance and all the nitty-gritty details all right uh, the conference is taking place in this coming saturday as you said before uh, dapewa so it's taking place at Pena senior secondary school that is in vinduk i think it's uh, maybe soweto of anahenda there just between there those locations, Vanahenda, Donge Huka, Kana, Okujongava, so it's in Katutura. Mm -hmm. So we are expecting all men to attend this initiative. It's for them, it's not for us initiators. So for us to preserve it, it's only when we respond massively to it, and mm -hmm. then we can find out that it's very vital. All right. But if we didn't respond, then the initiator will also lose hope. True. We need to hold hand and push the same directions so that we can save life. Remember, as we are talking now, we, we might have a family that is mourning their loved one because of GBV. Yeah. We might have uh, people that, uh, th that were sent to any grave because of these issues. Mm -hmm. Some are in hospital, some are in prisons, and uh, some, are, some of them, they are having what we call mental health, suffering emotions. It's something that we look in their own yes. minds. Yeah. Right. We look at it as a, as a culture, okay. but it's a, what we call a disaster. All right, thank you so much. Daniel Philemon, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you us. so much, Ndopeo. We thank appreciate you. it. All right. That was Daniel and Philemon talking to us about the first ever men's conference that is set to take place on a Saturday at a Shipena Secondary School. Don't go anywhere. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, that also wraps up today's edition.